Last week, some fairly surprising news came out about Star Wars The Old Republic. According to IGN.com, a fairly reputable gaming news source, Star Wars The Old Republic may be changing hands from being developed by Bioware over to a different studio called Broadsword. This story has not been fully confirmed, as the source was unnamed in the article, but the Bioware developers did respond to the article on the forums with this message. No doubt, you've read the reports that Electronic Arts is evaluating opportunities to give the game and the team a new home, which includes conversations with Broadsword. Unfortunately, we can't answer any questions you may have at this time. Here's a snippet from the article itself, and you can read the entire article in a link in the description below. According to sources familiar with the matter, Broadsword and EA have signed a letter of intent, with the deal expected to be finalized as soon as this month. The agreement would see the Old Republic handed over to current Ultima Online and Dark Age of Camelot developer Broadsword Online, which is run by former Mythic Entertainment co-founder and Bioware VP Rob Denton, who previously worked on the Old Republic in its early days. After the publication of this story, EA addressed the news in the following statement to IGN. Almost 12 years after launch, Star Wars The Old Republic remains a success and continues to grow its dedicated and passionate community. We're so proud of the work the team has done and the future of the game, and the community continues to be very bright. We're evaluating how we give the game and the team the best opportunity to grow and evolve, which includes conversations with Broadsword, a boutique studio that specializes in delivering online, community-driven experiences. Our goal is to do what is best for the game and its players. The IGN article continues to say, Currently, roughly 70 to 80 people are part of the core development team of the Old Republic, more than half of whom are expected to move to Broadsword. Those remaining with EA would have an opportunity to look for roles elsewhere within the company, but may otherwise face layoffs. Like I said, link in the description. So while the news is not confirmed, between the statement by EA and the post on the official SOTOR forums, it's far from a baseless rumor. The biggest question players seem to have is whether the game will be continuing to be developed, or to be placed into maintenance mode, where it still runs but no longer has substantial updates. The Bioware developers have assured players that update 7.3 and 7.4 will continue as planned. In a later update, Keith Kanig, the game director, posted this as a follow-up to his previous post confirming 7.3 and 7.4 and the fact that he can't talk much about it yet. Whoa, 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 everyone! I was hoping me telling you about the upcoming releases would help you understand this is a new beginning, not the end. We have more stories, modernizations, and MMO content already being planned out beyond 7.4. While details are being discussed and finalized behind the scenes, let's not spin this into incorrect theories. I'm asking you to hang tight and we'll follow up later with more details when we can. Many of you guys out there have asked me what I think about this. But because Bioware has posted so little information and we really only have the IGN article to go off of, I don't have many theories about what's coming in the future of the game. When the news first broke, I put together a list of questions, some of which I had guesses for but no facts or proof, and I'd like to know more about these answers to these questions in the future. Some of them actually got answered by the later developer posts. So first off, my big question, is this an upgrade or a downgrade for the state of the game? Were the recent 64-bit and AWS server changes in preparation for this? We were pretty surprised by the news because we thought those were developed in-house and were meant to make the future of the game more solid and easier to work on in-house and to grow the game. Is there any expectations or updates beyond 7.4, or is the game mainly going into maintenance mode? The developers actually answered this themselves later on, and they said yes, there is updates planned beyond 7.4. Is Ashley Rule the narrative director and Caitlin Sullivan Kelly the lead writer moving over as well? Are we going to continue the story or calling it quits after 7.3 and 7.4? Once again, I'm kind of dumb. This was uh, before I saw any of the additional posts. While Bioware and EA has always refused to answer staffing questions for security, they did say, we have more stories, modernizations, and MMO content already being planned out beyond 7.4. I think once they are able to announce uh, who is moving over in terms of staff, that's when we can take a better guess about the future of the game. And lastly, I had a whole bunch of questions about Broadsword itself. Broadsword is a very interesting company. It has a whole bunch of interesting ties to uh, Origin, to EA, to Mythic, and it currently runs two online games that are very, very old but are still functioning online. While it seems Broadsword itself is quite small, because EA will still be the publisher, uh, SOTOR should still have the support of EA itself, and hopefully soon they'll publicize who from the SOTOR team is also moving over to Broadsword. 
So while we don't have a lot of official information, there was two very interesting threads about this topic. One was by Chris Schmidt, a former recent developer on the team and now game director at Infinity Ward Austin. He wrote a big, large Twitter thread, and so did Damian Schubert, a former senior designer and lead designer for BioWare from 2006 to 2014, who's now creative director at Boss Fight, a Netflix game studio. Chris Schmidt, who left only very recently, actually said, for SOTOR, this is a good thing. For BioWare, this is a big loss. He also later said, this feels like an exciting new chapter to me, and I'm optimistic about what this means for that team and the game. SOTOR is, to the best of my knowledge, the longest running Star Wars anything ever. It's a special game, and I'm so happy to see where the team takes it. Damien Schubert, who did not work there recently, but had a big hand in the original development of the game, also had an interesting similar sentiment. He said, if the recent rumors of Broadsword buying SOTOR true, which I believe, by the way, it could be very good for SOTOR. SOTOR still earns considerable money, even if you're a small studio like Broadsword. Them investing more in the title, frankly, makes more sense than EA doing so. In Damien's post, I especially like the part where he talked about money. He said, back when the same discussion happened around Ultimate online. A developer dollar spent on Ultima Online would return two times or three times. For Madden or FIFA, that'd be five times to ten times. Or you could invest in a new IP, like a new MMO that might have better returns. When you look at it that way, where is the best place to spend your investment? Supporting MMOs makes less sense, but if you're a company like Broadsword, that smaller return looks like an absolute bonanza. When thinking about decisions that companies make, it's always important to look at the big picture and realize that companies of different scale and at different places value things very differently. I found both of their threads to be quite interesting and I have linked them in a very readable format off of Twitter on my website on Sotorista.com. So just in case you're worried about the state of the guide, site, videos, live streams, don't worry. Although I can't predict the future of the game, it does seem the game is planning to remain online for the future. So I'll still be covering it. They've got some really cool projects in the works like the interactive world maps and I still have a high interest in Sotor and any of its future updates. We are all ready for 7.3 to release with lots of guides and fun stuff to check out. I have no intentions of taking down side or letting it lapse, even if I do eventually take up another game, something we've been dipping our toes into since the beginning of the year, as we get closer and closer to having written every guide I wanted to have written. I do, however, have some big in real life changes coming up, including a move, some family stuff, and a lot of elbow work, so there might be a bit less content, especially videos. But the great news is since the beginning of the year, there's also been a second player working on the website portion of the guide's named Zach, who's also still excited to be working on this guides and coverage project. I'm feeling even better now about about the news that's been confirmed by the game director that there are plans, modernization, and stories even beyond 7.4. I'm hoping that the developers can release more info soon, and I'm guessing there is business or legal reasons why they cannot give more details immediately. Catch you all later, and as always, may the force be with you.